guys, so I'm, I'm going to be doing a review video. I got a bunch of stuff and I don't want to do a makeup tutorial yet because I think I have done too many of those already. Like, So I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I've gotten. It's been a while since I've gotten some of this stuff, but I love all of them. So let's get started. I've been hearing everyone raving about Morph brushes and I really, really, really wanted to try their palettes and they are always out of stock whenever I checked. But finally, one magical day, they were all in stock so I got three of them because I just had to. So I got the 35B, the 35C, and the 35N. Um, all... The pigmentation on these, like literally, I just wanted to find out what everyone was talking about because they're so cheap. And like, I had bought in a BH Cosmetics one before, and it wasn't like it's super like they're not as pigmented and they're really dry. Um, and it took like a lot of um, strokes to get it there. So I got the 35N, which I literally use every day. Like, look at that. They are the, all of the neutral colors that you could possibly need. Um, here, let me swatch one. For example, the, probably my favorite one is this one right here. Literally, like, I don't know if you could see that, but that is like, that's just one swatch. Oh, and these are my other ones that I'm about to show you. But... Um, yeah, they're freaking awesome. And I also got the 35C palette. This one has like more dramatic colors in it. Um, um, there's purples, pinks, blues, peaches, like yellow, black, all the colors you could possibly need. Of course, I wasn't satisfied with just those two. I had to get the 35B palette as well. It's almost like the 35C, but just a little bit more variety of colors. Um, like literally, these colors are everything. Like for example, I'm gonna swatch. I don't know this this peach. One of my favorite ones. literally one swatch yeah those are the three palettes if, uh, I recommend them for only 20 bucks like come on I'm I'm waiting for the Jaclyn Hill one oh, I really want that one so we'll see how when that comes out um, so a lot of people ask like what I use to clean my brushes and wash them and whatnot and what I do is I use the MAC liquid cleanser and I use um, I, I know everyone has been like hearing about the Sigma um, glove. I really wanted that, but my cousin um, told me that a cheaper, more affordable glove would be one that you could just go to PetSmart and buy one of these. And this thing literally like, it's all, like basically the same thing. Um, I just put on the liquid or the soap or whatever and I just brush and brush and brush them out and it gets like they're more the bristles are more sharp and they really get into the brush and it, it really works like it makes it so much faster so much easier yeah and this was $13.99 I think yeah so definitely get that um I got these a long time ago but um I never actually liked this is my first review video so I feel like I must need to put them up there because I literally love them. Um, the Lush Cosmetics um, masks. This is the Mask of Magnamenti. Um, gosh, it's so blurry. Um, it's kind of used up now but it's a green like mask. It has... What, what's in it again? Peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans. Um, this stuff literally like sucks out all of the like oil. And I'm, I have oily skin, so it really helps because it takes out all of the oily skin and it helps with your like face spots. Like I have some small like acne marks that I would pick at before. Um, yeah, and it smells mm, minty, peppermint. 
I also have the Herbalism. I haven't used this one quite as much because um, it, I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. It has ground almonds, rice vinegar, and they both exfoliate and mop up excess oil. Um, you just put a little pea sized in your hand, you put a little water on it, and you like rub it together and you put it all over your face, and it does the same thing. It's just a facial cleanser, but I kind of are I use by the Bior um facial cleanser because it's a lot faster and at night, like I'm already lazy enough to take off my makeup and wash my face. So, um, but if anything, like the days that I aren't am not lazy, I'll use this. And it's it smells very herbally, herbalism. And a lot of, I got a lot of people to get this product. This is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you literally just like, it's, it has um, sugar, jojoba oil, um, organic jojoba oil, and castor sugar. You just put like a little bit on your lips, you scrub them together, and then you just eat the rest of it and literally exfoliates your lips. Like it doesn't just... It's not like lip balm where you just put it on top and you still have dry lips. Like it, it really, um, it really helps. And it, I put it every time. Like I feel like my lips are super dry. And like when I put my lipstick on, you know, when your lips are cracking and the lipstick looks just like ugh on your mouth. Well, this definitely helps. This is I got it a little while ago. It's the Spring Sheen Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. Like it is. Beaut it has like a little shimmer to it. Yeah, it's a little peachy um, It I use it almost on a daily basis because it gives me just like that little peachy pink instead of just like super bronze It gives you a little pink and a little like shimmer to it. So like when you want to do the um, Highlighter it won't be like you have to pack on the highlighter You know what I mean? And I use this one and I, I also use the um the Mac Soft and gentle. So, definitely love this. So I did a Sephora haul, and um, I got a few things that I've been wanting to share with you guys. So, everyone was just mad talking about this palette, and I felt like I had to get it. Since I don't have the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, I decided, and, and then Kat Von D came out with the, um, what's it called? Shade Light palette. I felt like... So, it comes with um, six different shades for your skin tones, and literally, like, I wear it every day. And everyone always asks me, like, how do you get your cheekbones to look so defined, and, like, how do you get that highlight? And I, this, this is everything, you guys. So, I don't know if you could see, but, oops, my fingernail got in there. But this is, this is, like, the highlight one that I use. Um, under my eyes and on my high points of my face. This one that I use for like around contouring um, my forehead, my cheekbones. This one I don't really use. It's a little too dark for me. It may, it'll, it'll make it look like I have dirt on my face. So, but yeah, these are literally like beautiful. Like they're super creamy. They're not like dry and it just, it blends so nicely with your face. Um, I definitely recommend that one too. Um, I got the Perversion Mascara. Um, I'm really picky with mascaras because I, I have really small lashes and like when I'm putting on my mascara, it usually sometimes like gets on my eyelid and it's really annoying because it messes up my makeup. But this mascara like literally like flutters my eyelashes out. Um, it's really cute, um, packaging. It's what it looks like um it works really well i i saw it in lustre Lux's video because i love watching her makeup videos and she always wore this so she convinced me um i got this little it wasn't even my birthday it's not even my birthday um i went into sephora and it was february yeah this month february and it, my birthday was in December, and somehow they were like, oh, happy still birthday. And I was like, uh, thanks. I mean, I wasn't going to say no, you know. So I got these two NARS lippies. I'm sure a lot of people have gotten them, but I never own, like, a NARS because I feel like they're, I'm a, 
I ball on a budget and if I feel like it's worth it, I'll buy it, but sometimes I'm just too like, eh. So, well, these two are the colors right there. They're really pretty. Um, it's like a nude pink and then this one's like a, a red, deep red. But yeah, I really love those colors. They're really pretty. This I didn't get at Sephora. I got this one at Ulta. It's the Nip and Fab um, Dark Circle 6. Yeah. And you literally just like put this little creamy stuff. It has like a little pump on it. And you just put it underneath your eyes in the morning or at night. And I've been doing it every day. And I wanted to see if it really works. Because I have... I mean, I don't have bad skin when it comes to not wearing makeup. It's just my dark circles under my eyes. Like, it, they really bother me because I sometimes don't have... I, I have little time to sleep sometimes. And when I do sleep, I don't sleep enough. So, um, I've been trying this stuff out. It's been like a two weeks that I've been using it every morning and night. Except for this morning, I forgot. But, yeah, it's really... I could tell that it's kind of like a slowly fading away like the really dark darkness under my eyes not the poofiness because that you actually need to sleep well but i recommend this stuff um for the two weeks that i've been using it i've been seeing results definitely oh, i have yet to try these but i've been hurt i've been hearing like okay i've been seeing a lot of glitter going on in makeup on instagram and i love <laughs> glitter so I had seen like glitter injections or like all those other brands and like they're all kind of, like they're pricey so my cousin Bianca had her makeup done it was like absolutely fab and I thought oh my god I need glitter where did you get your glitter and she said she went to Michael's and bought it there I don't know if you could see it but that that's her um I had her on a picture on Instagram and like her glitter makeup was fab. So she said she got it at Michael's and it was literally these, these packaged ones. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh, but is that okay, good for your eyes or whatever? Look, if it gets the job done, it gets the job freaking done. You just put some lash glue or whatever kind of glue and it does the trick for oh, you. Yeah. Last but not least, um, I just got these in two days ago and I literally was like ah! I was like the person waiting at my door like checking every day for my tracking number like when are they gonna get here and it is the ColourPop um eye shades and some of their lippies um literally the most ama amazing eyeshadows they sent me this um color pop sent me this little card and i i felt so special for like three seconds you know like because you know how all the makeup artists always get like little oh sending packages and they get like well i obviously probably get that shit for free but they sent me a little note and they were like wendy aguilar thank you for being awesome xoxo color pop and it's handwritten i thought that was really cool like i don't i have not seen a company where they actually send me like a thank you note like written so I really like that. So I'll start with the lippies since I only got three of them. I don't know if you can see it. But I got brunch, I got click, and I got tipsy. They're like pinky, peachy, reddish toned um, lippies. They're literally like super cute. And they're only five bucks. Like everything on there is five bucks. Like how can you, how can you not, you know? So... That is the three colors. This one is, this one is tipsy, this one's click, and this one is peach brunch, brunch, tipsy, click. And literally like, they're beautiful. They come in these cute little packages. Um, this one is tassel. And it, it, I love always doing like a dramatic tear duck, tear duck, tear, Tear duck. Why can't I freaking talk? Um, a dramatic tear duct highlight. And this one, it's like, it's literally like everything. It is 
so pigmented, like super bright, super pretty. I mean, you don't get you don't get better than that. Um, this one, oh my god, it's so pr it is so pretty. Like, look at that. Sorry, that's my finger because I kind of used it already, but. Like, literally, this was one swatch. It is the prettiest brown, like, goldy, bronzy brown. I don't know if that's even, like, possible, but really pretty color. This is Game Face. Um, it is a really pretty orangey bronze. One swatch, guys. I am only, this is li like, this is so I can show you like how, and the formulation, it's so creamy. Like I really wanted to, when I was gonna get these, like I was so anxious to get it because everyone was talking about how creamy and like how form the formulation was so different. And I'm like, what's so different about it, you know? Literally, like I can see why everyone wants these colors. Like they're so, so, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen anything like that like ever before. The next one is Mooning Super Shock Shadow, and this one's like a brown, um, just a brown. It's shimmery still, but it's really, it has like little purple and gold specks of, um, glitter on it. And look how, look at that, like, oh, I die every time, guys. This one I was a little upset about because it kind of came in my box broken, even with all the like protection on it. But I mean, I guess it just you just pat it on and literally it's like fixed. And I mean, it's still it's still good. This is I love this. I heart this. I don't know. It's like a it's like a an actual heart. Um, but this is a really pre really pretty like. I don't want to say, I, I, guess it, I guess you could say silver mixed with like light, light. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what color to explain this to be, but this is so pretty. It's not like tassel because tassel is more white, but this one's just like a more, I don't know what the hell to call it. I really don't. It looks gray, but it's not gray. <sighs> died and went to heaven when I saw this color. This one is Ibiza, 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 oh, say hi Cornelius. That's Cornelius. This is like, oh my god, this is so friggin' pretty, like, look at that. Look how bright it is. Sorry, sorry for my ratchet nails, but I need to get them done. But look at that. I love anything teal, blue, like, blue's my favorite color, literally, since I was a little girl. And this color is just the definition of my favorite color. Oh my god. Look. Oh, OMG, dude. Like, that's beautiful. I can't wait to do a make. I was going to do a look on this today, but then I put on this outfit and I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm all if I'm matched. I am wearing this shadow on my lid today. It's called So Quiche, and it is like the perfect purpley, um, shimmery color. I don't know how. I don't know how to. Yeah, it's it's a really pretty color. This one is Get Lucky. It's gold. And it is such a pretty gold. It's like true gold. Look at that. Snaps. Like, oh my gosh. I love anything gold. I'll take it. I love it. I'll wear it any day, every day, all day. What I'm going to show you guys is Hammered. This one is literally like, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's like an olive green um, shade. I don't need to see it. Yeah. That is... That is hammered. It's so pretty. It's like a alligator with the sparkle <laughs> kind of color. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, that's it's perfection. This one is 
Rex. I saw Desi Makeup do a tutorial on this one in another blue shade called Too Shy. Um, but it is like a deep, such a pretty deep blue um, shade and it's so sparkly. Like, oh my god, you guys. That is Rex. Like, OMG, you guys. Let me zoom that in. That is Rex. Like these are all look how pretty look how pretty my hand looks, but that is Rex right there. Next I have my last color, and this is Too Shy. Um, this one is like a super bright um blue color. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, both blues, put them together and you're set. But yeah. These are all the color pop shadows I got. They're all super pretty. They're all a variety of colors. If you guys have any requests for any kind of makeup looks that you guys want me to do, um, I do this for fun. I don't do this like, oh, I want to get YouTube famous or whatever. I just do it because I love makeup and I love sharing my passion for makeup with you guys. And um, I just wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And thank you so much for watching all my other videos. I got like 500 and something. Um, views on my like full face tutorial and I was like <sighs> like I didn't think I would get like even a hundred but yeah that was awesome thank you guys so much so yeah all right bye guys hey guys Shit, this stuff is bomba. I feel weird when I talk like I'm not used to talking to myself or to a camera. People say I talk too much. I don't give a fuck. So yeah, um I <sighs> Okay. Um have a good one guys.